Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mags. So we are going to be talking about transfers today as it is transfer deadline day. The transfer window closes at 11pm tonight. And of course, there is at the moment some news circulating around Newcastle United in the transfer market. Hopefully we do have a somewhat of a busy day uh, in the transfer market as well. Uh, there's still areas in the team that I do believe we do need to be strengthening. Uh, especially the right back position and there is some news on that as well uh, which i will cover in this video uh, and i'll try and get out three videos today this one included in that of course uh talking about the transfers that are going around newcastle united today hopefully like i say you know we do have a pretty busy ish window uh, but looking at some of the news that's circulating at the moment obviously um you know there's news coming from Craig Hope that there's outgoings uh, with Fed Fernandez available for loan. Uh, Martin Debravka, of course, going off to Man United uh, for a £6 million option in there as well. Uh, obviously, we are on loan to Man United with that £6 million option. Uh, Mike Longstaff, of course, is also heading out on loan. Uh, and the news updated on that one with Mike Longstaff set to join Barnsley on loan. Um, I don't know if there's an option to buy in there or not, or if it's just a loan spell and then he could be coming back. But I think there might be an option to buy in there as well. I hate to say it, but the long staffs haven't quite hit the ground uh, that they were on. You know, when they first came into the team, Mike Longstaff looked fantastic. Uh, you know, in that game against Man United when he got his debut and he scored the goal in the game. But a little while after that, you know. It's starting to look a little annoying now uh, that the lads aren't quite hitting the uh, heights that they were showing. Uh, Sean Longstaff as well is another one, you know, that is not quite hitting the heights that he was showing uh, under Rafa Benitez. And it's kind of disappointing because, you know, Eddie Howe can get something out of these lads. But for some reason, these lads just don't seem to be showing uh, you know any signs of improvement uh, or any signs of you know going back to what they were at uh, for their potential so maybe you know we will see Matty Longstaff move on uh, but it does free up places you know in the team for other uh, players to be coming in frees up the wage bill as well for other players to come in not that we have to do that but you know it's st I'm still putting it out there Um, talking as well uh, the Chronicle are also saying that uh, how has been told that there are extra funds available uh, if he needs uh, them, but he is eager to bring the right type of characters to the club. Uh, that's something that Eddie is absolutely, you know, sticking by. We need to bring in the right players to the club. We don't need to be bringing in players that are going to upset the balance that is already there at the club. We had a fantastic game last night against Liverpool it didn't end in the way it should have ended um Newcastle should have won the game you know uh, if the goal hadn't been disallowed for what they were saying was an offside clearly you can say you know it is onside I talked about this last night in my uh, review so you know I don't want to talk about it again do go check out that review if you want to hear that but I don't want to be talking about that game again uh, now, I want to be moving on and we want to talk about the game coming up against Crystal Palace, of course. But in this video today, we're talking about transfers. Um, as for the Joe Pedro one, you know, Fabrizio Romano put up something about that, saying, you know, that it was going to be going through. But now it looks as though Wofford don't want to be getting rid of um, Joe Pedro or Ismail Saar uh, in this window. So it looks like, you know, that deal could be off. Uh, but there has been talk of Everton trying to go in and get him as well. Um, Eddie Howe is desperately looking for some cover at that right back position uh, to help out with Emil Kraft being uh, out with that ACL injury. Uh, so he's looking at some cover there. The one that's been talked about at the moment is from West Ham. Uh, which is Harrison Ashby. Uh, he has liked a few Newcastle United players' posts. Uh, he has followed a few Newcastle United players as well on Instagram. So 
um that in itself you know could be some sort of um you know point to say that he could be on his way to Newcastle United um as for the rest of the moment it's pretty quiet um there's really no other news circulating at the moment from what I can see of you know players coming in or massive massive signings coming in Lucas Mara is another one uh, that of course is going around um, very little interest from Spurs in allowing Mara to leave on loan uh, Aston Villa among of course the clubs who have asked uh, about him but of course according to Craig Hope uh, Newcastle are not uh, one of the clubs even though I have seen some reports going around today from other media sources saying that Newcastle are having a look at Lucas Mara. I've got to say Lucas Mara would be a really good one. Um, even at his age that he is, you know, he's still got enough to give uh, to improve us. You know, and he would go right onto that right wing as well. Not offence to Miggy, of course, but he'd be able to go on that right wing. It's an experienced head there as well on that wing and like I say you know he does have the ability still he's still got the ability to be able to improve things but at this moment in time that is pretty much the entirety of the news circulating there in Newcastle in the transfer window at the moment if there's any more updates or any more like concrete news that players are definitely coming to Newcastle then I will update in another video but just wanted to get this video out here to you know give you my thoughts on the news that is circulating around at the moment about uh you know players uh leaving the club players of course uh that are being rumored to be joining the club as well but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below who would you take um you know would you take lucas myra there would you take harris ashby from uh, West Ham as well as cover for the right back position. Would they take Lucas Mara? Is he, you know, possible player that could come off the bench as an impact sub or, you know, could play um, in place of Miggy and Miggy come off the bench as an impact sub? But let us know your thoughts anyway down in the comments below. Keep an eye out on the channel for more updates, more videos today. As I say, there will be. A few more videos out on the channel today with a being transfer deadline day. I want to try and get out uh, quite a bit of you know content for you guys uh, to allow you to hear my thoughts on what's going on in the NUFC uh, world. And till next time, I'll see you all later and how are the lads?